Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Lara for those of you that do not know and today's video is going to be a really fun one because I am going to be turning myself into Molly Samuels from after. And now the reason I decided to do this video is because I was originally going to be doing a Molly ASMR makeup role play. So I bought all of this like stuff to help kind of channel my, my inner uh, Molly. But then I kind of thought it would be more fun if I just kind of showed you guys the process, especially since you guys always ask for like makeup tutorials and stuff. And while I'm no makeup artist at all, I just thought this would be a fun video and a chance for you guys to just kind of watch me do my makeup and chit chat and I'm gonna answer some questions that you guys sent me on Twitter about after. So I just thought it would be a fun idea. I don't know, I've never done anything like this on my channel before, so I hope you guys enjoy it. This video is just for fun. I don't think I look like Anana at all and I'm not going to be exactly replicating how Anana looks in the movie because I feel like Molly's makeup would be a little bit more. I feel like Anana isn't really wearing much makeup and I kind of like to go in a little bit on eyeshadow at least so I figure I'm just gonna change it up a little bit I'm gonna try to go for her hair as best as possible so I'm just gonna start doing my makeup while I answer questions um, I'm not really gonna be like talking through the makeup look that much I don't think so I'm gonna list everything that I use in the description down below but hopefully you guys can kind of see how I do it um, starting out a lot of people are wondering if I could compare myself to one character in after who it would be and that question always really gets me because I don't know. Like, there isn't one character that I see, like, so much of myself in. I think the easiest way to go would just to say Tessa. Just because I do feel like I share some similarities with her. I just feel like we have such different personalities. Like, yeah, she, like, is an English major. She loves reading. Like, stuff like that. But, I don't know. I guess if I had to compare myself to Tessa, I would say I'm more like Tessa from the last book, like kind of the Tessa who like doesn't really care as much about what people think and just kind of less like uptight about things because I'm like the least uptight person in the world. So yeah, nothing really bothers me. I feel like a lot bothers her, honestly. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Other than Tessa, I honestly have no idea who I would say, like, none of the characters really jump out at me as being pretty similar to myself. So, I don't know. That question always really gets me. So, not Molly at all, but today we're going there, so that's fun. Someone says, what are your thoughts on how the after community is being shamed by people who don't know the series? And do you think it'll change the way that the movie comes out? So basically asking me like how I feel about the hate and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna be using Jeffree Star's Thirsty palette, by the way. Uh, this is one of my favorites. I use this all the time for like all the fun colors that I do. So if you're ever curious about what I use, this is something I use often. Um, but in regards to like after haters and people that are rude about the movie and say mean things, I feel like at this point I'm just so over it like I just don't really care anymore um because like if people are gonna hate on the movie or the book that's fine like if you have a valid reason if you read the book and you just didn't like it like who am I to sit here and tell you that you're wrong <laughs> like that your opinion is wrong and that you can't dislike the book like that's just kind of crazy but it's the people that kind of come for the book and the movie because it's like a Harry Styles fan fiction or because you know they heard bad things about it or they think their relationship is toxic or like stuff like that people that just kind of like gang up on the community because it's what other people say and what other people do i kind of hate that like when there's one thing that a bunch of people hate so everyone just kind of like tags along it's just kind of frustrating so i don't know like i just kind of try to ignore it there's really nothing I can do about people that want to sit there and waste their time hating on something. Like, they must be really bored is all I have to say. Like, go do something else. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just kind of try not to focus on it because at the end of the day, like, they're just sitting around being negative and I don't really have time for that. So, I don't really care. I mean, there's so many people that I love in this community that are nice and love the book and I try to focus on those people more than the people that sit around spreading hate for the book and stuff like that. 
Um, I can understand why some people would dislike the book. I mean, it's definitely not for everybody and nothing's for everybody. So I don't know. There's really no reason for like people to get mad that there are people that dislike it because not everybody is going to love everything. It's just kind of how life goes. Um, a lot of people ask me though, like, do I think that the relationship is toxic? Like, what are my opinions on that? And I just think, honestly, if you read the progression of the story and you start with book one and you read the whole series, yeah, the beginning of their relationship is pretty toxic. Like, I can't even deny that, honestly. Like, we all know Hardin had his issues and he had to work through them. And if you read the whole series, you see the progression of that and you see, this is spoilers, by the way, if you haven't read the whole series, but you see that, you know, they had a certain time in their lives where they could finally be good for each other and they had to take that break to be able to get there. So I just think people that hate on their relationship haven't read the whole series or they have super unrealistic expectations for relationships. Like if you're sitting around reading like YA contemporary novels all day, yeah, maybe you'll think that their relationship is unrealistic, but truly I think relationships like Hardin and Tessa's are extremely relatable and realistic and things like that happen. Like Anna says, you know, not all relationships are like hearts and flowers. <laughs> like it's not always like that. And there's going to be people that have pasts that affect who they are and how they behave. And you know, not everybody is like Prince Charming and perfect and amazing. And you know, Tessa and Hardin met when they were so young that he clearly hadn't worked out any of his issues yet. And so I feel like they gave each other the time, the few years, where he could kind of attempt to better himself, get his act together. And you know, I can't really fault somebody that's like 19 years old. I believe he's 19 when the series starts. And like, you're gonna sit there and say like, he's this and that. Like, yes, he's toxic towards her, but yes, he figures it out and works it out. People that say he's abusive, that's a different thing. I do not think he's abusive. I mean, People kind of take it too far when they say stuff like that. And also people that haven't read the whole series are the ones that say stuff like that. So honestly, I just ignore when people say that, but I can understand where people are coming from when they see toxicity in their relationship because there is at the beginning, but they get there, you know? I'm interested to see the movie and see how it plays out because obviously if you guys have heard like, Anna says that they're making Hardin a lot softer in the films and it's pretty obvious even just from the teaser trailer that he seems a lot more soft towards Tessa, not as angry, you know? So that's always good to see, um, in my opinion. Some people are like, it's Hardin being mean and whatever that makes him who he is, but like, it's really not. <laughs> I don't think it's essential to the story to have him be like, extremely rude to her in every waking moment. Like, I feel like in the book, sometimes it was taken a little too far. And even Anna says, like, she probably wouldn't have taken it that far if she had read it or wrote it, I mean, recently. And you know, Anna says that she's she herself is a lot like Hardin. And so the fact that people are gonna sit there and be like, Hardin doing this and that, like, it's a horrible trait, he's toxic. Okay, but like, people are like that. Like, there's people that, act like that and then they get over it and they get through it and they thrive and that's like Anna Todd's story you know and I just think Anna kind of was writing the story at a hard time in her life and she didn't realize it was going to become what it is obviously like who would have thought that this book that she started writing a fan fiction on Wattpad would become this crazy big thing like she probably never expected it so she wasn't really considering her audience when she wrote it I don't think the first time around. So yeah, she maybe included some things that were a bit harsh, you know, things that Hardin does, but she even said herself she'd probably change some things, which is why I think personally that they're gonna change some things in the movie, which I'm okay with. I'm just, you know, honestly at this point, I just wanna see the movie. Like at this point, I feel like at the beginning of my after series, I started like in May when I started doing videos about the books and the movie and all that. I was very like, this needs to happen, this needs to happen. If they don't have this scene, like I was very particular. But now at this point, I'm like, okay, we're like two months away from the movie. Can I just see it? <laughs> like, I'll, I'll take anything. Like, I don't care at this point. I just want to see the movie. Um, I think I'm basically done 
with my eyeshadow by the way I just did like a brown kind of sparkly I mean Anana doesn't really have much going on in any of the pictures we've gotten so far but I feel like this I mean it's pretty natural still still kind of molly I would say I don't know all right let's do eyeliner and let me see if I can get another question from you guys Oh, someone said, what did I think the first time that I saw a hero? And this is actually so interesting because back when Hero was announced as Harden, um, when they started announcing things back in May, um, I was super apprehensive. Like, I saw the post on Anna's, like, Instagram, and she was like, this is Harden. And Tessa, honestly. Like, when, he post when she posted, like, Julia and Hero, I was like, double scared I was like um <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this also don't pull at your eyes and your eyeliner I just have to like don't do it though you're gonna get wrinkles so just don't don't do what I'm doing okay this is not a tutorial this is a watch and don't follow <laughs> um anywho when they announced hero I was super taken aback I was like this is this is our Harden. like I don't I don't see it. <laughs> like, I was honestly like super nervous. I was like, he doesn't look like him. The picture did not give me Harden vibes at all, especially after picturing like Harry Styles as Harden all these years. It was just kind of a shock to my system. I was like, I don't see it at all. I was originally pretty upset, honestly. But then I started like looking at pictures of him and, you know, kind of thinking about it a little bit more. And honestly, he just started growing on me. And now we all know that I'm literally like Hero's number one supporter. I'm obsessed with him. And I don't think anybody else could play um, Harden like he can. Like, honestly, I know we haven't seen the movie yet. And so like, I can't really completely say that he's the perfect fit. But honestly, what we've seen so far, like the teaser and pictures of him, he's just so hard and like he embodies him so hard there was a new picture um that meadow posted on her instagram a few days ago i'll include it and i just saw that picture and it was like hero wasn't even a person anymore and i was looking at a picture of harden because he just channels him so well like i knew that once we got to see like pictures of him dressed as harden and him acting as harden that my opinions would change but I didn't realize how much they would change and how much I would feel like drawn to him as Harden. So I feel really lucky. I feel so lucky with all of the cast, honestly. Like it kind of blew my mind. A lot of them I was originally pretty apprehensive about. The only person or I guess the only people that immediately like I was super excited about were Shane, who's playing Landon, who I've always really seen as Landon, even though he looks nothing like the Landon from the book series. There was something about him, like the first time I saw him, that was just so Landon-y to me. I don't know what it was, but him and then also Samuel Larson for Zed. I've been a Sam Larson fan since the Glee project when he won a spot on Glee. So I've been a huge fan of him for the longest time. And so I was really excited to see him play Zed because I hadn't seen him in anything since Glee. And I think he would be perfect for Zed. I mean, we haven't seen much of him as Zed yet, but I'm super excited. Um, but I've really grown to love the rest of the cast. Like, Anana for Molly, I think is such a good move. Like, I genuinely did not picture her as Molly at all. But seeing her when she first kind of started posting pictures as Molly, I was kind of blown away. I was like, okay, this is kind of Molly. Like, she's kind of it. So I'm just super excited obviously when they announced Josephine I was so excited uh because I really I don't know I started to grow to love Julia after kind of having a little bit of time to process the news that she would be Tessa but there was always just something about her looks that didn't scream Tessa to me and when they announced that she wouldn't be Tessa anymore and that Josephine was going to be Tessa I saw Josephine and I was like, that is literally Tessa. Like she's more Tessa than Indiana Evans, who was like the fan cast for um, Tessa. So that was really exciting. Oh, wait, I'm gonna start my face makeup, by the way. 
um, yeah. But, I don't know, like there's just something about Josephine that's so Tessa-y, I just can't put my finger on it. It's like, she has like that perfect round face, and like her little smile, like she's just, I love her so much as Tessa, I'm so excited to see her in the movie. Also, what the heck, I'm breaking out so bad, this probably wasn't like the ideal time to film a video with no makeup, but I mean, I really don't care, everybody has imperfections, you know what I mean? Like. Who cares? We all have acne. <laughs> um, but yeah, hold on, let me see if I got another question. Oh, so a lot of people are talking about how Anna said she would pop, well she didn't say anything actually, I'm lying to your face. Um, somebody was asking on her Instagram like, oh like I wish there was going to be another book, or somebody said like they had a dream there would be another book, and Anna replied with like these really like suggestive emojis basically. Um, that were kind of like, ooh, like hinting that there could be another book. So everyone's been really curious and kind of speculating on what they think it is or what they want it to be. So I guess I can kind of touch on that. Um, I think if she were to do anything else, um, I wouldn't really want it to be Hessa related just because I feel like the story ended where it needed to be. I know a lot of people like think that their story wasn't done or they wanted like back the time that we didn't see them together where it kind of skipped over at the end but for me personally i feel like i didn't need to see that as much as other people are you know saying um because i just feel like it was kind of kind of worked out how it needed to be i feel like it would be kind of a pain to have to go and write that so i don't think that's what she's gonna do I think it's possible she could be doing some type of spinoff. A lot of people are saying they think it could be a spinoff about Hardin and Tessa's kids, um, Auden and Emery, is that their names? <laughs> I look like Boo Boo the Fool if that's not their names, I think it is though. Um, so people are saying it could be a spinoff about their kids, which I personally would really like. Um, you guys may or may not know, but I'm obsessed with Abby Glines, who's another author, and she has these two really popular series, the Seabreeze series and the Rosemary Beach series. And she finished both of those, they're both really long, and um, has a new series which is like Rosemary Beach meets Seabreeze, and it's about all of the couples from those two original books, um, their kids. And it's really fun and I love that series because you get to see like little bits and pieces of the people from the actual original series, but then you also get to see their kids' um, stories. So I really like that. If Anna were to do something like that, I think I would really enjoy it because we would still get to see like a little bit of Tessa and Hardin in them. It just wouldn't be centered around them, which I would like. Um, so if it was that, I would be pretty content, but... A lot of people are also saying they think it could be a Molly spinoff, which is kind of controversial, I've found. Um, a lot of people don't like Molly, and that's, you know, kind of obvious. She's not, like, the best, you know, character around. But I do think that she has the biggest, like, possibility for being a spinoff. Because she is such a complex character that we didn't get to explore a ton in the full series, um, at least not till the end did we really get to see her open up about anything, especially in Before. She has a few little sections in Before that kind of touch on her past, so that's kind of interesting to me. Um, obviously, Molly does a lot of horrible stuff, and she's not a good person, but... Hardin is also not a good person at one point in his life. So I feel like if Hardin deserves a redemption arc, Molly might too. That might be a controversial thing to say. I know my friend Trinity is probably watching this, shaking her head because she absolutely despises Molly. But it's true. Like, I feel like Anna could probably do something where she gives Molly some type of redemption. I also think that they're gonna make Molly a lot nicer in the movies. The reason I think that is because it's kind of awkward to have like multiple villains in a series and I just think that they're gonna probably focus more on Steph being the villain than Molly. So I feel like they might like make Molly better, maybe not include her in that scene in book three where Steph, you know, does Tessa dirty at that party. So I feel like if they were to kind of change Molly's character around a little bit, 
then people would be more inclined to read a series about her. Especially since, you know, Anana plays Molly. She's a pretty big influencer, does like a bunch of stuff, um, like acting wise and things like that, has her channel. So a lot of people are really big fans of her. She has one of the largest followings of the people in the, you know, movie. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Throwing things around. So I feel like they might wanna include her more in the movies. So we'll have to see, but I don't know. There's a lot of possibilities for whatever Anna could be doing. It could be like an epilogue of like all of the characters like 10 years later. I don't know, it could be anything. Okay, we're almost done with the makeup. I just have to do a little more face stuff and then um, my eyebrows, so yeah. This is kind of how I would normally do my makeup, by the way. Um, obviously, a lot of you guys just ask about my makeup because of my eyeshadow. I'm always wearing kind of crazy eyeshadow, which this isn't after related, but I want to touch on for a sec just because it came to me. A lot of people are always asking me, like, Laura, how do you wear such bright eyeshadow? Like, how do you pull that off? Like, I would love to wear makeup like you, but I don't have the confidence. I don't know how to pull it off. Genuinely, this is the thing. People think that you have to be a certain type of person to wear colorful eyeshadow, to dress a certain way, to wear your hair a certain way, to dye your hair a certain way. Like people think like, oh, like she can pull that off exclusively, but pulling something off is just doing it. And then like, go like going out and like people see you and they're like, wow, like she did that. Like, you know what I mean? Like if you want to pull something off, you just have to do it. Like when I was in high school, I used to wear a lot of like, kind of different outfits. I would wear like a bunch of dresses and um, like overalls and stuff like that to school all the time. And people would always be like, Laura, like how do you pull off wearing stuff like that? It's just about doing it and like being confident in your choice to do it. Um, and you know, if you wanna wear colorful eyeshadow, it's just something you kind of have to try out and then it becomes a part of you. Like people always say like, oh, like you're like, we stand your eyeshadow. Like we always look forward to seeing what your eyeshadow is and saying that like, queen of eyeshadow. It's just because I started doing colorful eyeshadow and then you guys noticed and then it like became my thing. You could make anything your thing. You know what I mean? Confidence is just about like having fake confidence and then it becomes real. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I could just be like talking nonsense right now and everyone's like, okay, Lara, <laughs> totally. Oops, my camera cut off. But what I was saying is if you want to do something, do it. If you want to wear blue eyeshadow, wear it. If you want to wear something different, if you want to dye your hair, just do it. And then people will start associating you with that thing and it'll be your thing and you'll be pulling it off. So yeah, anywho, I just started doing my highlighter. Um, I thought I was still filming, so that's my bad. Um, but somebody asked me, it was actually my friend Madison. She said, should Matthew Noska make a cameo in the movies? And if so, who should he play? And if you guys don't know Matthew Noska, he's actually um, Anana's boyfriend. He's a model and an actor. And he's so good looking. Like, so good looking. Like, one of the most good looking people, if not the most good looking person I've ever seen. And it's like, kind of frustrating. Um, the reason I became so infatuated with him is because people always fan cast him as Dean De Laurentiis from the Off Campus series, which is by L. Kennedy. It's one of my favorite series. Um, and I found out that people were fan casting him as Dean, and then I looked him up and realized he was an honest boyfriend. And now I'm just kind of like obsessed with him. Um, so if I had to fan cast him, I think he would make a phenomenal Trevor. And <laughs> I know people are gonna disagree because everybody wants um, that one guy, I think his name's Darren, to be Trevor. But I don't know, I think Matthew could uh, pull it off. Somebody said, do you think Tessa cries as much in the movie as she does in the books? Um, I don't know. I'm really curious to see honestly how they portray her versus how she's portrayed in the um the books because I feel like they could make again like same with Harden they could make a lot of changes to her character to kind of make her a bit more likable I mean some people would argue that she's likable from the beginning personally she gets on my nerves a little bit in the first book um just because she can be a bit dramatic <laughs> but like me too like, I'm not gonna like dack points from her because she can be like annoying um because you know same but 
she has her moments. I think that they are going to make her pretty similar to the book. I mean, why wouldn't they? Um, there's nothing like problematic about her character inherently, I don't think. So I'm interested to see how Josephine portrays her. I think she's gonna do a great job, honestly. So I'm really excited. Someone said, which scenes are you most excited to see? And I think I'm really excited to see scenes with the parents. Um, just because we haven't really seen anything of the parents so far. Um, I'm a huge fan of Salma Blair. So I'm super excited to see what she brings to the role of Carol. Personally, I think she's going to be so iconic as Carol. Selma does like bitchy so well. It's kind of like her thing. So I'm so excited to see what she does. I'm excited to see like how much they actually put her in the movie. Um, also really excited to see Karen and Ken. Um, I'm excited like really for the parents because they're kind of like a big part of the story honestly and I just I don't know. I'm so excited. I'm excited to see any of the scenes that are kind of outside of school because we haven't heard a lot about any of that and I'm excited to see scenes other than just like the sexual stuff because that's kind of all we saw in the teaser and I feel like there's so many scenes of them just like doing normal stuff going places and we didn't get to see any of that. So hopefully in the trailer that comes out soon, hopefully we'll see stuff like that. Okay, I think my eyebrows look okay. I don't know. This ring light kind of picks up on everything. So if one part of my makeup looks botched, like you guys can see it. So that's fun. Um, last thing for makeup is the lips. I'm gonna go in with a liner. Let's see, what is this? I got a bunch of Kylie lip liners. They're like, probably my favorite. Let's use this one. Um, the picture that I'm kind of thinking of is that one of Inanna where she has like the sunglasses on and she has like a pinky lip. I'm not gonna talk while I do this part, but Inanna does have kind of bigger lips than me. So perhaps we overdraw just a little bit. Like that, kind of blend it in a bit. And then the two colors I'm gonna mix, I already picked this out. Um, they're both from Kylie, Truffle and Amour. They're just like her actual lipsticks. This one I actually wear a lot, the Truffle one. Yeah. What I'm most excited to do is the hair right now. I don't know how it's gonna come out. I'm very interested to see, so. Okay, I think that looks decent. I might like touch up the lips once I have the hair and stuff like that, but okay. I'm just gonna spray my face. I have some, you know setting spray. This stuff smells good. It's the sea, Rainforest of the Sea from Tarte. I got a little sample and I'm liking it. Okay, so <laughs> the hair. Um, I'm going to be doing like the two space bun uh, look kind of thing. So first thing I'm going to do is kind of put my buns where I want them, kind of make little ponytails. And then I think I'm going to do this thing. Well, I'm gonna take my sweatshirt off. I'm just wearing a black tank top. I don't have like a Molly outfit or anything. I do have the black choker. Should I put that on right now? Why not? I have like her choker. Also, I know that my bra straps are showing. I'm so sorry that like, you have to see that. <laughs> I just don't have a strapless bra. So that's fun. Okay. So like that, that's pretty Molly, right? Okay, so <laughs> I'm scared. I, I, I don't know what to do. I have this hair dye stuff. It's like pink. I have bobby pins and then I have um, little elastics. So what do I do? My hair is already parted in the middle. I'm going to take, well, let me pull up a picture because I think she has little like wispy bits and stuff. So I'm going to take like a section. 
like that, I suppose. Kind of brush it. My hair is kind of shorter than hers, but I mean, whatever. What are you gonna do? And my hair's also blonde, but not much I can do about that. Let's see. There's one hair kind of sticking up. I was pulling that up. Okay, like that. We'll do it on this side as well. This is kind of cute just as, like the little ponytails. I kind of like my hair like that. And then I'm going to try to like tease it a little so that I can get the buns a little more full. But okay, so that's what we have so far. Okay, <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in with the dye. So this thing, this is like really different. Um, it's Splot Hair Chalk in pink. So it comes with this little chalk and then a little sponge. So I think what you do, if I'm correct, is you put this sponge into the thing and then put your hair like in between and pull it down. So <laughs> let's try it, okay? So like if I was to take this, this is gonna be harder than I thought, isn't it? Okay, let's see. Put this. Her hair isn't completely pink, so. Whew. Okay, okay, it, it worked. You guys, okay. So this is gonna be like completely pink. Um, let's just do like the little pieces first though. Okay. Wow, I can't believe it's working. I think because I'm blonde, obviously, it was going to show up um, regardless. So I don't know if this will work if you have brown hair, but you can try it. I might not do the whole, my whole head just because it's going to take forever. Just kind of the front so that we can kind of get the idea. This is so funny. Wow, should I dye my hair pink, guys? <laughs> Go full out Molly. People are still really worried about the rating which i understand people are scared that the movie won't be able to be all that it's meant to if we don't get you know like the sex scenes if we don't get scenes with um like alcohol like the parties which i think we're gonna get regardless can i like no it's not gonna work um oh can i put you can put your finger oh my god that's so much easier Okay. Um, but I think that honestly, they're gonna have that stuff anyway. I feel like a lot of people don't realize that PG-13 movies can have a little bit of raciness to them. Um, I've seen plenty of PG-13 movies that have like beautiful, beautifully done sex scenes and stuff like that. Um, it just really depends. So I think no matter what, we are gonna get something good and something quality. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and stress about every last detail of the movie. I know that's kind of what my brand was <laughs> for a few months, but it's just like kind of exhausting to sit around and think about the ifs, ands, and buts of it all. Like we just kind of have to let it play out and see how it ends, you know? Okay, I think a little more pink in the ponytails. Oh my God, <laughs> I have it on my face. It's a no. I'm gonna need to go wash my hands before I do the next step. But I think this is pretty good. What do you guys think? Pretty Molly? Okay, oh my god, my neck. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands, fix my neck, and then I'll be right back. So now, let's see, I'm gonna take my brush and kinda zhuzh up the ponytail section so that when I wrap it around, It'll look more full since I didn't have that much hair. Imagine like, hm, done, I look like a zombie. Okay, let's see. You gotta wait for that final product, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm just gonna take this, kind of wrap it around. Is it pink enough? I don't know. And then In it like that see 
I feel like hers a bit more pink. I can add some more. But she does kind of have it like hanging like that. It's not really a full bun. So that's why I'm keeping it like that. So now let's see this one. Okay, I think that looks pretty decent. What do you guys think? I mean, she has like these little wispy bits, so that's kind of what I'm trying to achieve by also doing that, but I don't know. Does it look pink enough? Let's see if I can... <laughs> just rub the pink on there and then also kind of get like a wispy little piece this video is probably gonna be so long i'm so sorry but okay i think we kind of got it like what do you guys think do you think i look like molly i think it's pretty like pretty spot on like I'm not gonna lie I also have the sunglasses in the picture I'm talking about she has these sunglasses not these exact ones but <laughs> what do you guys think do you think I look like Molly let me know in a comment down below um also I can do one of these for Tessa I mean Tessa's isn't ex as exciting as like Molly's with the pink hair so obviously it's not gonna like go as hard but this was so fun <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's nothing like crazy. It was just kind of like a Q&A, but you guys wanted to see how I did my Molly makeup. Um, I think I'm gonna film an ASMR video for Molly right now just because people still want that and I'll just have it as a video to do. So if you guys end up wanting it, I can post it. But I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for watching it. Again, give it a thumbs up. I dyed my fingers pink for this video, so please like and subscribe and follow my social media linked down below. Other than that, I will see you guys very, very soon in a new video. Thank you so much for watching this one, and I'll talk to you later. Bye! <laughs>